The Sufami Turbo by Bandai was kind of the Japanese version of the Aladdin Deck Enhancer in that the main cartridge included most of the necessary chips, but it has two cartridge slots instead of one, which let the games share data with each other. There were 13 games released, but only one of them is worth playing. Based on Power Rangers but with a twist, it's Gekiso Sentai Car Rangers. The game is a side-scroller where you can pick between five rangers to play as at the start of every stage, and they each start out with a punch or a karate chop, which upgrades to a weapon when you pick up a sword icon. The red ranger is the only one who gets to use that sword, however, as pink shoots three arrows, green and blue get guns, and yellow gets uh, a thing. I can't really tell what it is, but it does increase the range a little. Take one hit and you lose your weapon, however. By smashing signposts, cars and sometimes walls, you can find the weapon, health, a racing wheel which lets you run over all enemies on the screen, and a car which blasts everyone. The other thing you can find are gears, what the game calls parts. For every 50, one of these gems activate, and you have to have at least 250 when you beat the game to get the best ending. At certain spots you can press up to go into semi-secret areas to find parts or other items. In the first level they're clearly marked, but in others they can be a little harder to spot. These hidden areas and the fact that you don't die from falling down a hole, instead it takes you to a short sub-area where you have to find your way back up, prevents the game from being all too simple, but it's still not exactly a complicated game. Minimal platforming and a boss at the end of every stage. The game is pretty easy, at least until the last stage where the enemies start getting more insistent and there are plenty of holes to fall into. When you fall into a hole it's usually dark down there and they use their headlights, literally. The graphics are pretty good and I like the health gas meter, the pumping music was made by Hiroyuki Iwatsuki, who also worked on Pocky and Rocky, Ninja Warriors and more. Unfortunately, while this is undoubtedly the best Sufami Turbo game, it's also by far the most expensive, routinely going for about $200. It is definitely worth playing though, so fire up those emulators, people. Vroom vroom.